We're going to move on to politics now and that Alabama Senate race getting so much national attention. Head of tomorrow's vote, polls show a tight race between Republican Roy Moore, Democrat Doug Jones. President Trump weighing in for more, a host of national Democrats for Jones. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, here with the latest. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. Just when we thought this election couldn't get any stranger, it's taken another bizarre turn. In the weekend before voters head to the polls, one candidate was all over Alabama campaigning, while it's unclear if the other may have left the state. This morning in Alabama, a tale of two very different campaigns. Roy Moore disappearing from the trail. No public appearances with voters since last Tuesday. But Democrat Doug Jones tearing through the state, campaigning all weekend. We're running a campaign that's going after votes across the state. They're not. They're in hiding, and they've got a, a segment of the population, and it's the only population they care about. Moore, who is still battling accusations of sexual misconduct, including sexual assault on teenage girls, appeared on local TV in a pre-recorded interview that aired on Sunday. These allegations are completely false. I did not date underage women. I did not uh, molest anyone. More sabbatical from campaigning comes as President Trump gave him a major push, first at a rally in nearby Pensacola, Florida. So get out and vote for Roy Moore. Do it, do it. The president also recording this robocall obtained by ABC News. Hi, this is President Donald Trump, and I need Alabama to go vote for Roy Moore. It is so important. We're already making America great again. Moore's name may be on the ballot, but even his own campaign says a vote for Moore is really a vote for Trump. This is Donald Trump on trial in Alabama. If the people of Alabama vote for this liberal Democrat, Doug Jones, then they're voting against the president who they put in office at the highest level. Still, some Republicans find Moore toxic, including the state's senior senator. I didn't vote for Roy Moore. I wouldn't vote for Roy Moore. I think the Republican Party can do better. A Democrat hasn't won a Senate seat in Alabama in 25 years. And beating Moore won't be easy. His core supporters, along with staunch conservatives, plan on voting for him despite the allegations. It's my uh, belief whoever God put, put in that seat is according to God's will. Now, in another sign, Moore is aligning himself with the president as much as he can tonight. Moore's campaign campaigns again with Steve Bannon. Doug Jones has three events throughout Montgomery and Birmingham leading into tomorrow's election. Yeah, it's been such a turnaround for the White House and all of the president's supporters right there. Meantime, as you were alluding to earlier, more out of the state over the weekend? You know, George, it's really strange and it's really unclear at this point. There are reports out there he may have been nearly a thousand miles away in Philadelphia. We don't know for sure because the campaign won't comment. He did not attend his regular church service. Reports say he planned on going to the Army-Navy football game in Philadelphia. Moore is a graduate of West Point. The campaign tells me he definitely did not attend the game. But when I asked if he traveled or got caught up in the weather going to Philadelphia, I was told no comment by two campaign sources. Interesting campaign strategy there, okay? Thanks very right. much.